Secretary, Secretary Avalos. Um, Pinakikilala po natin yung ating napakasipag na kalihim ng uh, Department of the Interior and Local Governments, Penhar Avalos. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, no? sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig ngayong uh, hapon na ito. I just want to, uh, Marge, can, can I get the slides please? Okay, I just want to report that uh, uh, last week, as about seven days ago, there were about 100 na pusayaf uh, who surrendered in Holo, Sulu. And uh, yesterday, or two days ago, about 50 NPA rebel returnees also surrendered to the fall of the government. I'm going to show to you pictures. The pictures being shown now when I'm in white, those are taken in Cagayan uh, de Oro. Um, most of the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the weapons are being destroyed. You know? we, we made sure that some of these uh, uh, firearms are destroyed. Yan, hawak -hawak ko yung nasirang mano. So these are rebel returnees, and this is, of course, because of the, our program uh, in the ECLIP, you know? the Comprehensive uh, Local Integration Program, this task force. Of course, kasama natin dito ang kapulisyahan, Kasama natin dito ang uh, ating mga kasama sa gobyerno, si uh, Governor Roque of Bukidnon, ang DLG family, ang NICA. And what is important here is, ito, ito namang isang picture ito, anuhin ko lang, is this one are the Abu Sayyaf. I, I think this is the biggest or the largest number of Abu Sayyaf surrendered, who surrendered so far, 100, 100 of them. And even the firearms, no, kompleto po sa firearms po iyan. No? Talagang uh, dyan natin makikita ang talagang masamahan ng uh, uh, government, si Sakurtan. Si uh, Governor Sakurtan po ang nakasama natin dyan. Ayan siya yung naka-assume. Of course, at, uh, last week pa yan, kaya kasama ko po si General Vic Danau of the PNP. And uh, uh, not only that, uh, kasama rin natin ng uh, iba't ibang ahensya ng uh, government. No? What is important in this program is Surrendering is just one day, but what is important is after surrendering. And that is what, uh, sabi ko nga, uh, wars are just not won by, by guns. It is won by heart. Especially now that we have a very caring government under the Ferdinand Marcos administration. And we will make sure of that. After this, uh, basic things will be provided. And what is important, of course, is our economy. Para naman mara, ma, ma, maramdaman ito ng ating mga kababayan. So, uh, I just want to report, after this, I'm grant to the province of Lamitan. This was last week. Uh, you know, this is because of the Yumal case that, that happened there. I just want to make sure that uh, I, I had a meeting with the different agencies of government with the police and uh, with also with the uh, with the uh, members of uh, the city uh, city hall to make sure that it will be very peaceful in uh, in Lamitan in Basilan okay uh, can, can can we turn on the other uh, no pakita naman natin yung by bus natin the drugs can we show it uh, march Okay, I, I'm just waiting for the slides, no? And uh, this time also, this was also last week. Sunod sunod after this is, pagkagali uh, namin sa Abra ng Pangulo, I went straight to San Fernando, Pampanga, where again uh, our Philippine National Police, no, had uh, this year. To my mind, it's one of the biggest by bus operation in the amount of 408 million, no. Napaka methamphetamine. But I'm just waiting for the pictures, for the slides. Okay. So, habang wala pa, uh, 
uh, to enhance uh, comprehensive integration program of the government, which is a clip. This is particularly for the rebel returnees. No? In this case, yung nakita nyo kanina, andyan na yung mga kasamahan natin dito sa NPA and of course sa ating mga kapatid na mga sa Abu Sayyaf. No? So when they returned, they will receive immediate uh, assistance, livelihood assistance, and then another reintegration assistance and firearms remuneration. No? Yung mga sinusurrender lang mga armas. Plus, of course, uh, some uh, halfway house for uh, construction. No? At to make sure also uh, for their safety, uh, mabantayan din namin sila. At of course, yung iba pa mga tulong ng mga ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. What is important with this kind of program, mukhang dire-diretsyo na dahil I've been receiving a lot of invitations. This week, pupunta na naman ako sa ibang isa-isang lugar and there will, there, will, may, there will be another surrendery, batch of surrendery. At sana sunod-sunod na ito para ang tunay na kapayapaan ay maramdaman na ng bawat isa. So, uh, this is my report in behalf of the DILG. No. Uh, it's the rebel surrenderies, the one in Lamitan, and of course, the drug by bus. Uh, March, do we have the the slides for the by bus. Um, technical, uh, may technical difficulty. Mamaya ako nalang ipapakita. Okay? Sige. So, yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes. We, we are opening questions for Secretary Abalos. Ms. Tuesday New. Good afternoon, Secretary Abalos, sir. Yes. Uh, with this surrendering of uh, 100 Abu Sayyaf group na sinasabi po ninyo, ano po ang implication nito? Pwede ba nating sabihin na sa mga susunod na panahon o at least itong taon na to, wala na tayong dapat na asahan na pag-atake ng mga ASG dyan sa Mindanao area? Well, ang masasabi ko lang is that uh, right now, this is the biggest batch of surrenderies. No? Of course, uh, meron pa namang Abu Sayyaf dyan, no? Pero... Malaki na ang kinahina. I was informed talaga, napakalika na ang kinahina. Uh, napakaganda po ng uh, Sulu. They've got one of the most pristine beaches I've ever seen. Napakaganda ng lupa, ready for agriculture. No, nakahanda na, lalo na ngayon, na Secretary of Agriculture. Walang iba, kundi ang ating Presidente. No? I I'm sure. So, ito'y parang naihahanda na for economic progress. Of course, if there is peace, sunod-sunod na po ito. No. Ang uh, pagkakasabi sa akin talagang heavily halos hindi ko lang masabi ng number pero mababang bababa na po, no? So I'm sure the derecho and uh, sa ating mga kapatid naman na nasa NPA naman, no? Uh, eto, dire derecho na rin. Uh, sana naman sa mga nanonood, nakikinig ngayon at kung kakilala kayo mga member ng NPA, sana pag-isipan nating maigi. Ito ang gobyerno, ito'y makikinig, ito'y gagawa ng paraan para naman lahat ng programa ay maibigay sa ating nga. Kaya there's no more reason para magkumawa pa tayo ng armas laban sa gobyerno. No? I'm sure sa tamang pagtutulungan, uh, talaga magiging very, very successful po ito. Thank you, Tuesday. Miss Evelyn Quiroz, Filipino Mirror. Good afternoon, Secretary Abalos. Yes, I believe. In relation po dun sa na-mention niya na big bus po sa San Fernando, Pampanga, um, may final na po pa kayong kaso against dun sa mga involved and um, matitiyak niyo po kasi po ng mga nakakarang administrasyon, marami po mga drug bus na actually mga mas malaki pa ho dito pero wala na ho. Pag, pagkatapos ng ma mahuli sila, hindi na natin nalaman kung nag-file ba or Hindi ba? Ano po talaga yung direksyon natin dito? Maraming salamat for that uh, question, uh, Evelyn. Naniniwala ako na ang tunay na the true success of any by bus is the conviction of the accused. That is why uh, nag-benchmarking ako sa DILG. I've asked the police to provide me uh, cases where they are right now, how many are pending, how many arrests were made, and how many convictions. For me, convictions are very, very important. Uh, 
we have made an interagency uh, task force together with uh, uh, Secretary Boying Remulia. Remember, when it comes to criminal cases, ang una kong pupuntahan ng kababayan natin ay ang kapulisyahan. At ang unang naharap ay ang investigador. So ang investigador ang gagawa ng demanda para sa iyo. Remember, medyo komplikado yan. Why? Dapat may working knowledge yan ng criminal law. Because dapat ilagay mo lahat ng elements of a crime kung ano sinusumbong. Isang element na wala, pwede madisbis ang kaso. So with this, we've made a, a program with the, the good secretary for a mentorship program. We will try to assess the capacity of our investigators, try to help them, give incentives. And even for the new police, makakalakon kami probably a aptitude test to see who could be investigators because they are very, very material in this case. Number two, when it comes to drug cases, most of these are being dismissed on a technicality because of Article 21. Ano sinasabi ng Article 21? Once there is an arrest of this evidence in court, it must be witnessed by two persons, a barangay official or a member of the media or a representative of the Department of Justice. Karamihan ng kaso, isa lang ang testigo, ang barangay. Anong nangyayari? Nadidismiss ang kaso. Masig, kano ka laki, kano ka hirap. Imandalo yun lahat may wife did, Mayor Menchik. She hired one employee, assigned the employee to the Department of Justice. Ang trabaho na lang ay mag-witness sa lahat ng, dry, ng mga drug bust. At tumistigo. And you know what? Wala na kaming dismissal na technicality because of one single gesture of an LGU. That is why I requested the League of, of Cities, Mayors, the League of Provincial uh, Governors, and of course, the League of uh, Municipalities, baka po pwedeng gawin nila yun. It, it's so, wag na nating antayin maamendahan batas. Let's work within the law. We have to fill in the gaps. Kung may gap na ganito, puluan na lang natin. Kaya nga nananawagan na po sa ating mga mga Alcalde, local chief executive, baka pwedeng gawin yun, just to hire. Okay, another issue about this. When it comes to hearing, yung police na reassign sa ibang lugar, yung police na promote, at kung tatawagin na siya ngayon sa hearing, kung walang testigo, tandaan nyo yan, pwede na-dismiss. Or pwede na sabihin na the right to a speedy trial. Hindi ba? Kung dire-diretsyo. So, I will be requesting the Supreme Court. No? Dahil merong body rin dito. If it's possible na magkaroon ng online hearing. In the event, yung kapulisyahan ay nasa malayong lugar. Let's say, nasa Mindanao. Nasa, ano, baka po pwede online hearing na lang. Dahil maraming komplikasyon. So, these are the things you are doing right now. We're trying to benchmark on things, anong mga gaps dito, anong mga dapat gawin po natin dito. Again, what is important is not the number of cases. What is important are the quality of cases filed and not the arrest, but rather the conviction. At yung po ang drive namin dito sa DILG at sa PNP, of course, in cooperation with the Department of Justice. Okay. Next question. Vince... From Manila Standard. Sir, good afternoon, Bob. Yes, Vince. Um, sir, will the government intensify its illegal drugs campaign, particularly in Metro Manila, following the accomplishments of the DILG on the San Fernando Pampanga by, uh, drug bus? Well, yes. Uh, we will surely intensify the war on drugs. But, you know, for me, it's not just the police who should move on this. It is one thing that everyone should act on this. Parang may isang puno eh, hindi ba? Ang puno, may sanga. Putol ka ng putol na saka, baka mamaya may tumubo. Kung gusto mo tanggalin ang puno, tanggalin mo ang ugat ng puno. Ang sanga ay ang mga pusher. 
ang mga pulis natin, inaalay ang buhay, kailangan talagang putuli ng putulin dahil lalaki ang sangang yan. Pero mas maganda siguro kung magtulungan tayo yung ugat nito, which is the community, the school, the family, everyone should help. And that is what the, the BILG would like to do. We will strengthen the Barangay anti Drug Abuse Council, go to the grassroots of everything, poverty, counseling to the to the youth. No, we could do a lot of activities together. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, mga kabataan. And who could better counsel a child, uh, a kid? Yun din kabataan. Eh. Kung isa papagalit ako yung nanay, sabi, matanda ka na kasi daddy eh. Pero yung barkada sa barkada, remember, peer pressure is different. And not only that, the rise of cyber crimes. Iba ngayon because of this online. Iba ang, ang na ano mga bata. So kailangan palakasin natin ang self-esteem. Gumawa tayong mga activities for the kids with one thing. Say no to drugs. So we're going to do this. Rest assured, the police will do its best. Together, of course, with the NDI. Sama-sama kami rito. But much more than that, we as a people, as a community, on the ground, grassroots, tulungan nyo rin po kami dito. Let's have this advocacy. Palakasin natin ang pag-ibigan natin lalong ganito. It could be through sports, culture, arts, singing. We could have themes every month. We could do this. Diba? As long as the kids will know na, oops, pangit pala yan, hindi maganda yan. Thank you. Chris Jose, rebate. Sir, balikan ko lang po yung sa sumuko na NPA and ASG. Um, sir, may, may, dun po sa 100 na ASG, may, meron po bang leader ng ESG na nag-express ng intention? Ano, uh, sumuko na po pala? Uh, I'm not so sure about the, the leaders, no? but uh, I was informed. Talaga nagpapasalamat po ako dito sa uh, Intel ng PNP, case Governor Sakurtan, sa military, ha? sa military, no? Tuwan-tuwa dahil, enforce the ILG dahil this is the biggest, uh, Chris, the biggest Abu Sayyaf group that uh, really surrendered. At marami pang iba. I assure you that sunod-sunod po ito. But what is important here is to make sure na talaga namang pag-surrender nila, akapin na natin yung programa ng gobyerno for them about livelihood, lahat po ay, ay magawa po natin. I think the slides are ready for the by bus, March. Okay na ba? I'm sorry, wala pa yata. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, can you play it? Can you play it, please? Okay. Ah, hindi. Yan pala. No, hindi, hindi sa bypass yan. That's the one in, ano. Okay. Uh, yung kanina, that's the one in uh, Cagayan de Oro. Pero yung rebels came from Bukid noon. No? Yan ang drag bypass. Isa-isang gas station yan na may dumating na kotse. No? So, next please, pakiulit lang. So, yan. Kung makikita nyo, parang nakatsa eh. It's a T. May mga Chinese characters na nakalagay sa loob. That one is about 60 kilos, worth about 408 million street value of the drugs. Okay. It's one of the biggest drug haul this year. Thanks, of course, to the Philippine National Police, to General Dick Danau and his team, and of course, the Regional Director of uh, Region 3. Next, please. Wala na ba? Wala na. Matipid yata kami sa picture dito eh. Oo. Hindiram ko lang sa mga major one eh. Next. Okay. Ah, I'm sorry, but I have another meeting to go. Huh? Um, okay. Sir, uh, can you still accommodate two more questions? Oh, sige, sige. Last two. Um, Alvin Baltasar and then Vance Fernandez. Secretary, uh, magandang hapon po. Uh, yes. Tungkol doon po sa ASG at sa NPA, ano po ba in-offer ng pamahalaan na tulong uh, doon sa mga nagsisuko? Tsaka ano po yung nagtulak sa kanila para sumuko sila sa government? Um, well, under our program, we've got an immediate assistance no, amounting to about 15,000. And we've got a livelihood assistance. We've got a reintegration assistance. And of course, firearms remuneration. Depende sa isusurrender na barel kung anong kalibri po ito. And of course, no, uh, meron pa rin uh, mga iba. No? Uh, 
Meron pa rin medical assistance, access to government services, legal assistance, housing, and uh, iba pa mga programa ng pamahalaan. No? So, what is important is to make sure na yung integration back to the community, no? to the fold, talaga maging successful. And that is what we're working right now. Ang surrender isang araw lang yan eh. Pero ang problema yung ngayon, yung bukas. No? Kaya nga, I've told our directors sa baba, no? interagency to, talagang tulong nga namin. Akapin natin ang mga kababayan natin at mga kapatid natin. Secretary, follow up lang po. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, ilan na lang po ba yung pwersa ng MPA at ASG basa sa records niyo? Uh, well, ayoko muna sabihin sana rito eh. Pero I assure you, yung sa Abu Sayyaf, konting-konti na lang. Okay? Konting-konti na lang. Uh, bubulong ko na lang sa iyo kung ilan. Pero <laughs> ayoko muna nga sabihin on, on TV. I assure you, konting-konti na lang. Yes. Secretary, last question from Vance Fernandez. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Yes, uh, <clears throat> The DIL, DIL on Thursday highlighting the success of the whole of the government approach in dealing in, with armed communist conflicts you know, and touting towards continuing the highly successful policy. Does the DILG and the Amarcus administration as a whole have any set expectation of the potential further success of the policy? Is the Philippines on the track to potentially or nullify the armed communist threat within the Marcus administration from this successful policy? Well, actually, no, ang uh, ating Pangulo ay talagang on hand po, po rito. Ang talagang puso niya, makikita naman kampanya pa lang eh. Ano sinasabi niya? Sama-sama tayong babangon muli it is from this theme na kaya kami gumagalaw. Sa totoo lang, ako, eh, hindi na yata ako nakaka-uwi ng bahay ko eh. Dire-direcho eh. No, Dire-direcho talaga ito. Kasi gano'n kasi pag si Presidente, hindi natutulog ah. Akala ko nung eleksyon tapos na eh. Yung pala, mas matindi pala nung naging Presidente. Talagang dire-direcho po kami rito. Well, yung kanyang theme going back na sinasabi niya, sama-sama tayong babangon muli. He really takes it to his heart. Wala may iwan po dito. That is why this kind of program, itong ELCAC, itong ECLIB, talagang itutunin namin because what is important here is not, it's not the act or gesture of surrendering. What is important is the integration. That they will really feel that government is there for them. As it is for everyone, that is important. With this, I would like to thank the media. Huh? Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, uh, Trixie, thank you so much. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. Thank you.